Gabe Newell talks about the past, present and future of Valve, comments on Half-Life 3. In a video interview with IGN, Gabe Newell talked about the past, the present and the future of Valve. Moreover, Valve's CEO commented on Half-Life 3, and shared his opinion about a future Half-Life game. As Gabe Newell said when asked about Half-Life 3. It's part of a progression, right? I mean for us it really is about. Half-Life games are supposed to solve interesting problems and, you know, Alex represents the collection of interesting problems and solutions that we can use. The big gap is because, you know, maybe we are stupid. But it didn't seem like there was an obvious. Like we don't just crank Half-Life titles out because it helps us make quarterly numbers. We deliberately avoid imposing that constraint on how we approach stuff. We could be right and we could be wrong, we make mistakes and, you know, we did Steam Machines, we did Artifact which was a giant disappointment. We screw things up and so for us this is actually a really powerful moment. Because this is as good as we get. And we want to know, we want to find out are we were on the right track. We want people to come back and say oh my god, the magic is still there. These guys at Valve can take this kind of experience and build something that opens our eyes. As designers that thrills us. As players the reviewers look at and say no this is legit. And if it is not, then that's also going to be super powerful and super useful for us. I think we've nailed it. Gabe concluded that releasing a new Half-Life game is like sending your child to a college. Moreover, Half-Life, Alex's reception will tell Valve what will be the next generation of changes and improvements they're gonna make. So yeah, we may see some new Half-Life games in the future. Whether we'll get a Half-Life 3 though? That still remains a mystery at this point.